talk today is just going to be a, a brief one. I think a lot of people have heard me talk before. And um, a lot of things have been said about Aboriginal land rights and the fight for land rights. And uh, I think what we've got to do is keep emphasising those points that we've always made. You know, the television, the media, so we're battling, focusing attention on the battle for land rights here in Queensland. And I'd say anywhere else in Australia as well is to get out on the streets to march, is to protest in any form, whatever. That's the best way of getting the point across. That material progress which we felt in the next generation when we begin to hate each other for what's happened in the past and we live with the history then. The trouble is with Belky Jelky Jelky Peterson in his tracks. There's one thing you should do with a bully, and that's you've got to punch him right in the face before he gets too far and show him who's boss. And the Queensland government should be shown who's boss by the federal government, and the federal government did not do this. In 1972, the Labor government should have done something because they had it on their books through the 1967 referendum, the power to do something as well. And the Labor government never did anything. The Liberal Country Party hasn't done anything. Nobody wants to do anything. Unless you're black, it doesn't even count, because we're not a powerful economic vote, and we're not a powerful political voice in this community. I think the other thing that should be said too is a good cause. This is a democracy. We should be able to march the right. It's not communist Russia or Poland or any of those places where you can get locked up and all those sorts of things, but you can in this state. And we have the racist fascist for that board. We're asking for what do we want? 